For the first time since the grisly details were released in the murders of Natalie Cano Partita and Derek Greer, their mothers are speaking out. News 5's Lena Howland just met with them earlier this evening. She's live in studio tonight with more on what they had to say in the wake of all this. Lena. Well, it has been a long and bumpy road since the mothers first found out their teenagers were murdered back in March. Since then, they've spent an empty five months in the dark without their children, not knowing how or why they died. The worst nightmare has happened to me. Tamara Partita knew something was wrong the night her daughter Natalie left the house for what would be the final time back in March. We argued the night before because I didn't want her leaving. So we were arguing and the last word she said to me was, I love you, mom. That next day, the bodies of 16-year-old Natalie Cano Partida and her friend, 15-year-old Derek Greer, were found on the side of Old Pueblo Road. I always wondered at what point did they know that they were in trouble and that they probably weren't coming home. Now the family is trying to process why their children would be killed execution style over a dispute at a party after a judge unsealed court documents. Also detailing who out of the 10 arrested were the ones to pull the trigger as Derek and Natalie took their final breaths. I just wonder why she didn't know him. Uh, Derek didn't know him. I just think how could he have done something so ruthless both of them but I look at all of them that way. Partita though is grateful she's not in this alone. Two kids that were all they ever wanted was to fit in and have friends and have fun. Derek's mother Sarah Ferguson has been by her side since day one and I thought I had played out the worst case scenario but I had not. Even before she learned some of the grisly details surrounding this senseless killing of her son one of the hardest parts has been having to face those suspected killers in court. It's hard being in the courtroom with them especially because they're laughing and I mean they don't that's the hardest, one of the hardest parts probably is that they don't show any remorse whatsoever. They still just think it's so funny that they took two innocent people off this planet. Still, both mothers are working together to make sure justice is served for the teens who never got the chance to finish growing up. I hope justice is served and I hope one day these people feel remorse for what they did to two innocent children. As bad as they are hurting, both mothers say they would not ask for the death penalty for the suspects. By the way, even though the arrest report was finally released, the autopsy report will stay sealed until the preliminary hearings. The judge ruled it could traumatize family members and possibly taint a jury pool. Elizabeth. Lena, thank you.